This is Gavarok welcoming you to Let's Play Heroes Realm. We are in Chapter 3. We are Miracardi, Bilaparak, Bedaria, and Rolagors, and we are ready to continue. We have done a bit of grinding, we are now all level 3. Uh, still haven't learned any heal spells, Miracardi will learn heal at level 4, and for now he will be the party's only healer, so we should probably buy some items. It's night time, which is precisely what we need. Uh, that's just the outside of the town, which I don't think you've seen before because didn't let us out last video. Tiny metal. Now wake up and give us some items, bitch. Damn it. Right. Let us stay at the inn because we are a bit low on health. At least the Laparak is and Rulligors. Mere 6G. That's not too bad. Come again. Now oh, we've got the two. We've just got the one because I already handed the other one in. Yes, that's right. Now, item shop. Gonna buy ten of them. I'm gonna buy five of them because I got poisoned earlier and that was a shame. Three of these. Don't need either of those. Ooh, we've got a tool, a bioblaster. Why not? Spend most of our money on that then, why don't we? Oh, no, yes, it's from here. Bioblaster. What does that give us? Bioblaster. Poisons all enemies. Okay. The Laparak will probably learn a similar spell, but meh. Uh, I've given everybody weapons. He's still got his Boken. Laparak's got a knife. She's got brass knuckles, which is the only thing she can equip, which is interesting. Uh, and Rulligors has got a copper sword. I haven't really bothered with armor and such yet because still early days and we just spent most of our money on a bioblaster tool. But we shall go up and see if there's anything cheap we can throw on to our people. Since being unarmored is not fun. Leather shields, not, not exactly cheap. Leather armor, not exactly cheap. Leather cap. We'll, we'll go with we'll go with three leather caps. That that should do us. We we are now sufficiently hatted. There we are. Watch as we suddenly get a whole bunch of leather caps in the next area, and I just start crying uncontrollably. Now to the right here is this so-called grove with dragons in it. Is that what she said? What's what's the actual what's the details? Oh, it's terrible! The secret grove has been overrun by giant bugs! Giant bugs that just happen to have sprites that look like dragons. Okay! Sense is made! Ah, giant bug. I've actually fought them before. Good. So yeah, Miracardi and Rolagors are actually a fairly similar sort. They both have, um... Oh wow, you get prestige from killing these two. Hm. So you can get more than ten prestige. Nice. I still want to fight them anyway, because completion! Antidote herb. I like that. Mackie Bishi is very good. Well, probably not great, but it's good because it's free! Free is nice! I like free! Free as a bird! Except if I wanted an actual bird, I'd probably have to pay for it. Unless I caught it myself, which would be kind of. Wow. Let that one get away from me, didn't I? The monsters were defeated. The quest was completed. And the rhyme was well timed. Is this the last one, or is there another one? Might be another one, I don't know. <sighs> Murder the giant bug! For the horrible crime of being giant and bugging me. And daytime. 
God, we spent all night out here. Oh, that's not an enemy, that's a treasure chest. With another medicinal herb. My favourite. I think that's it. Is it? Great work. I will let the sensei know about your bravery. Do we get anything for um, having more prestige? Or does it, like, just not have any effect? What did he just say? Let the spirit of Son Goku embiggen your soul. Embiggen. Okay. That. Uh, pretty sure that was just a dual, uh, a dual Dragon Ball Z and Simpsons reference. I'm I, I'm impressed. Unless embiggen is an actual word, which it really shouldn't be. Okay, we, we head off. Offwards and outwards, I believe. Fairly straightforward map so far. Don't really want to go down the hills, but looks like we don't have a choice! Yay! Oh, hey, leafers! Lovely. So fond of you. These are the guys we just spent a little while fighting and grinding on off camera. I just said we. That's weird. But Makabishi makes short work of them, which is lovely. I am very glad I bought it. Let's see if we can get through the hills without a fight. No, we can't, of course not. Yeah. You can probably hear the sounds of me shifting in my chair all the damn time, by the way. Apologies for that. It's because I can't get comfortable when I'm Let's Playing. I don't know why. I'm sort of leaning forward, which I'm not normally doing. It's so that I can actually be heard, because otherwise I'll sound all like this, because the microphone won't pick up very well, because the game audio will drown me out. So yeah. Anything up there, or is that just an alternate pathway down? It's probably an alternate pathway down, but we're going to take a look just in goddamn case. But I know that the next town, pretty sure it's a town, is uh, downwards. Oh, it's like a crescent moon, but desert. Oh, there's a cave here. Do I want to go down here just yet? Um. Hmm. I think I'll. I think I'll see if I can look at the. The, the town just downwards first before I go venturing off into a cave without any rememberable reason as to why I'm doing it. I do like Makibishi. That is a good ability. It's just a free kill all. I mean, I'm sure it won't be a kill all by the time the enemies start getting a little bit stronger, but for now, it's kind of really, really good. Yeah, here's a town. Welcome to Frogerton, beware of the marsh. Yes, this town is covered in hurt, you floor. Welcome to Frogerton, human! We descended from amphibians, so we can breathe underwater, unlike you hairless monkeys. Ha! A chief lives inside, but chief lives inside. It's a mere 10G to stay here. Nah. All your beds would be frog-sized anyway. Welcome to our market tent. I can sell you some stuff if you like. Would you like to browse my wares? What have you got? A whole bunch of stuff. Fairly decent armor. Armor that um, works for a shapeshifter too and is fairly cheap for, for the boost that it offers, so I'll take it. Uh, poison Needle. Chance of instantly killing an enemy. That's a pretty good weapon for Balaparak, who... His shop sprite kind of looks like a peg leg with a head stuck on it and a cape around it. Doesn't it? It looks like someone has chopped off Santa Claus's head, only with a orange hat instead of a red one, stuck it on a pike, and then put a blue cape around the display. Except the pipe the pike is also a peg leg. 
Wow, that's elaborate. Um, anyway. Lucky dice. Must be some kind of weapon for someone. Tool that I want, but can't afford. And spears that I want, but can't afford. Of course. That to me says, come back here after going to that cave up there and getting a whole bunch of money. Save the chief's place for now. We love the marshy environment. Good, because you're kind of stuck here, aren't you? Welcome to our market tent. Nah, we've got enough crap. And that one would be the item tent, I'm pretty sure. Or the accessory one, I don't know which. I cannot let you pass until the chief says so. You've got to complete at least one tedious filler side quest before we let you through. Sigh. Inwards and chests. Scimitar. Tiny medal. Actually, can anyone else equip the scimitar? Yeah, Balaparak, but we don't need a mage to have that. Pay respect to his slimeliness. Wow. Welcome, Miracardi. I have heard that you are travelling to Okasa to participate in the Kumite. Unfortunately, I will have to delay your travels for some time, and I am sorry to have to resort to such tactics, but I must deny you passage. You see, we are being harassed by a particularly nasty tribe of gnomes from the northern mountain range. We have tried to meet with them, but they simply ignore our pleas for democracy, uh, diplomacy, rather. We can't deal with them ourselves because we need to stay close to the water. We simply wouldn't survive. However, you, being human and all, can survive the trip. So I must enjoin you to speak on our behalf. Miracardi, we need you to reason with the gnomes and get them to stop harassing us. I will allow you to pass once you have completed this mission. Would you like to save your quest? Yes, froggy bitch. Okay, so we have to go up to that cave and go through it. Okay. Apparently, there is a tiny metal hidden underfoot in swamp on the northern island of Frogerton. This appears to be the northern island of Frogerton, and I am taking so much goddamn damage. Um, but there doesn't appear to be a tiny metal in any of the obvious spots. So we're going to do this a while. How much time we got? We're right about coming up towards the end of the video, so y'all can suffer with me and watch me do this. Watch as everybody suddenly stops watching. Um, I swear, there's a tiny metal somewhere in this swamp. Are we down to one yet? Yep, everybody's on one, but they don't die. We'll just we'll just stay at the, the, the froggy inn before we um, continue onwards. Where the bloody hell is it? I probably missed it. I'll find it in between videos and I'll show it to you in the next one. Because supposedly you can grab it now. Maybe it's there. Or there. It says the Northern Island. Which appears to be this big ass one. Oh no, wait, no, because this is technically connected to the. So maybe it's this one. Maybe it's that one that you can't actually reach. I'll be back. I'll, I'll find out and then show you fairly well.